All right, folks, so I'm going to record a, a series of videos for you guys. Uh, those of you who are in the FOR 105 physical evidence class and FOR 106 forensics biological evidence classes on uh, how to create your digital lab notebook that you're going to be keeping this semester. Uh, I'll record a video on how to update your notebook from week to week, and I'll record another video on how to submit your notebook when you're done updating it each week. This first video is just on how to get your lab notebook started. So uh, if we look in the FOR, I, I, in a, these instructions, by the way, I happen to be looking at the FOR 106 class for this video, but these instructions apply to both classes, the FOR 105 or the FOR 106 class. But when we look in the module section of our course, um, we're going to see that our first lab is going to show up in module number one. In this particular course, in module number one, the very first lab is going to be this measurements and the metric system lab. But uh, the instructions on how to do this, and this video, in fact, actually is going to be found in the instructions for this particular assignment. So if we click on this, we click on the measurements and metric system lab, uh, we're going to see the uh, instructions for this particular assignment. Uh, the instructions I'm going through for this video, in fact, are actually typed out uh, in the uh, instructions for this assignment uh, under the heading instructions for your lab notebook this semester. But as you look at the instructions for this assignment, you'll see that there are two links. One link, this one here, titled Measurements and the Metric System Lab, is the link that gives the instructions for the actual lab. And then you'll see another link, which is titled Lab Notebook Template. And it's this link that you're going to need to click on to create your own lab notebook. And so that's what this video is going to focus on. This video is going to focus on how to create your uh, lab notebook that you're going to submit each week as you finish your labs. And so I'm going to go ahead and click on this lab notebook and open up um, this Google document. Uh, your lab notebook this semester is going to be in the form of a Google document. So you're going to be keeping this Google document, you're going to be updating it each week, and you're going to be submitting this Google document to me as your instructor uh, as you finish up your labs each week. Uh, you're not going to create a separate Google document each week. You're going to create one lab notebook document that you're then going to update each week with new material. So again, you're not submitting separate documents each time. You're uh, updating the same Google Doc with your labs each week. So this is the template that you're going to use to create your own notebook. So you clicked on this link and you've opened up this uh, FOR 106 Digital Lab Notebook template. Well, you, you can't update this template. You don't actually have editing privileges on this document. So the first thing you need to do is you actually need to make your own copy of this Google document that you can update, that you can uh, make changes to. So to do that, you're going to click here in the left where it says File. And you're going to click where it says make a copy. And if you click make a copy, you're going to get the opportunity to create a new document for yourself. And you're going to give it a name. The instructions say that the name of the document should be your name. So let's say my name is John Smith. And then it's going to say FOR 106 or FOR 105, depending upon which class you're in, digital lab notebook. And then it's going to ask you where you want to save it um, in terms of your Google Drive. Uh, if you already have folders set up in your Google Drive, you can, or you can simply save it on my drive, your, your, your generic Google Drive. So we're going to do that, and then we're going to save it. And again, we, we titled it with our name, FOR 106 Digital Lab Notebook. And so that's going to create now my copy of the Google document, uh, or rather your own copy of the Google document, which you can then edit and change. Because you can't edit and change the template, but you can change your own document. So... Once I've done that, I can actually go ahead and close the template. So now I have my own lab notebook, which I can update. One of the first things you need to do to your lab notebook, once you do, is you need to change the header. So at the top of every page in your Google notebook is this header. I can double click on it, and I need to change where it says name. I need to change that to my name. So again, if your name's John Smith, you're going to change where it says name to John Smith. And then you're going to update the semester. So let's say you're taking the FOR class in the spring of 2021 semester. and Go ahead and update that heading. Now, notice that the page number is right here in the top right-hand corner. In fact, every page, this template is set up so that as you use it, every page will automatically page number with the page number in the top right-hand corner. And then as we look down, it's the bottom left-hand corner too. Page number two is going to start with the page number and then page number at the bottom left right there. So. All right, 
the very first page in your lab notebook is going to be a table of contents. Think about your textbook. When you open up your textbook, in the very front of your textbook, there's a table of contents that tells you the chapters that are in the textbook and what those chapter titles are and the page numbers. So the very first thing we need to do is we need to update our table of contents. Now, what do we update it with? Well, the very first lab we're going to do is this measurements and metric system lab. So if I go over to my lab notebook, I'm going to add, because the very first lab I'm going to do, I'm going to change it where it says title of lab. I'm going to change this to measurements and the metric system lab. All right, now just like a table of contents, you know, for example, in your in your table of contents of your textbook, it says chapter one is pages one through 20. We need to know what page numbers this is going to be on. Well, the lab itself, it's not going to be on page one because that's a table of contents. So it's going to start on page two and then go to, well, we're not sure yet. Depends on how many pages it takes, but it's going to be pages two through whatever. All right, so, all right. So I've, I've updated the, at least the first lab uh, in my notebook. Um, now, when we're ready to actually do the lab, so this is kind of what your lab is going to look like. The lab consists really of uh, three parts. Um, every lab, we're going to get rid of this. We're actually not going to include the procedures in there. Every lab, as you, in, as you input your lab uh, findings, um, every lab is going to contain pre-lab questions, results, and post-lab questions. And I'm going to record another video in just a little bit showing you um, what to put there and how to add it. But uh, what we can do, at least at this point, is we can put the title of the lab. So this first lab is measurements and the metric system. All right, so that's our first lab. All right, and then as we complete the lab, we're going to add pre-lab questions, we're going to have results, we're going to have post-lab questions, and of course we're going to save it, and then we're going to submit that. And again, in a later video, I'm going to show you again how to save and submit your lab. Now, so we, we've saved this lab. Now the question is, where is this lab saved on? If you're not familiar with how to use Google Drops, remember when we, when we created our own copy of the lab notebook, we, we asked it to be saved in our Google Drive. So this is uh, Google Drive. Now, how do you get to Google Drive? Um, if you have a Google page open, um, or if you have your My Gmail, your Gmail account open, your student email account, you're going to see this kind of icon. It looks like a Rubik's Cube. Click on it, and you're going to click on where it says Drive. If you click on that, your drive's going to open up. And if you click on where it says My Drive, anything that you've saved in your drive, I got a bunch of folders here, for example, or documents. Remember, we just uh, saved a a document titled uh, John Smith FOR uh, 106 Digital Notebook. So that's where your, your notebook is going to be saved. It's going to be saved in your drive. All right, so that's this is the first video. It's just going to talk about um, what you're going to do to be able to create your notebook initially. Again, from the assignment, we're going to click on this template. We're going to open it up, and then we're going to click on File, and then we're going to click on uh, Make a Copy. We're going to copy the notebook. And then we're going to change the name to our name. We're going to update the header. Uh, and then now we've created our notebook, which we're ready then to start to input material for our class.